Well, the Delta variant continues to spread in Wisconsin, causing an increase in hospitalizations and putting Milwaukee into the extreme transmission category. Fox 6's Brett Lemoy live in Milwaukee with the reason health officials say even the vaccinated need to be very cautious. Brett? Yeah, that's right, Mary. They're concerned about these breakthrough cases and spreading COVID-19 to individuals who have not yet been vaccinated, children, for example. Health officials warning tonight, we are not done with this pandemic yet. First to the trends, uh, they're frankly not good. Concerning developments for Milwaukee City and county health leaders. The state of Wisconsin has seen a fourfold increase in hospitalizations in the last four weeks. And that's worth repeating. We've had four times as many people hospitalized with COVID in Wisconsin as we did one month ago, from 74 individuals to 310 today. The Delta variant is being blamed for a surge in infections. In the city of Milwaukee, our disease burden jumped from 75.7 cases per 100,000 last week to 193.2 this week, putting us in the extreme transmission category. 491 cases statewide are linked to gatherings in the Deer District. While officials say the number is insignificant, it does raise concerns about this week's state fair. Anytime people gather, I think it's important to recognize anytime there's a large gathering of people, we're going to see the virus spread. Um, and those that number is from the entire month of July. So it's not linked directly to one day the final game, um, it's through the entire course of the month of July, and we're still collecting data, so the number is likely to, to grow. Discussions continue to take place about possibly reinstating the city's mask mandate, as well as a possible vaccine requirement for all city workers. The way out of this pandemic is through vaccination, and every person who's not vaccinated is a potential host for another variant. And health officials say just over half of Milwaukee residents 16 and older have now gotten the COVID-19 vaccine. They say that's only a 0.8% increase since Milwaukee crossed that 50% threshold just a week and a half ago. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. We'll see where this goes. All right, Brett, thank you.